Hello, in this video we're going to go over this problem that asks us to prove that if x is an infinite set, then the power set P of x is uncountable. First, um, uh, the definition of power set. Power set of x is the set of all a such that a is a subset of x. So it's the set of all um, subsets of x. One thing to notice is that if you look at the set x, there's always a, an injection from x to p of x. So there's always a, an injection. And the way you can define that is by sending every element to the subset containing x itself. So in order to show that p of x is uncountable, we probably need to show that p of x has more elements um, in the sen sense of the size of p of x than x itself because x could be countable. So in other words, we likely have to prove that there is no um, bijection from x to p of x. So in other words, we probably need to show if there is a um, function from x to p of x, it cannot be onto. So let's see how we can do that. So if we take a function from x to p of x, and this is just a generic function, not necessarily the one that I uh, defined above. This is not onto. Okay, so how do we uh, prove this? The way we can prove this is um, we want to show this is not onto. Since we are trying to prove negatives, we probably need to use proof by contradiction. So how do we use proof by contradiction? We will have to assume there is a set that th there is a function that is onto. So we're going to have to assume it is onto and then somehow obtain a contradiction. In other words, we will have to create a set S that is a subset of X such that S is not f of x for every x in x. So how can we create uh, this set s? So the way we, we create this set s would be, let's assume f of s is equal to x, and what we want to get is we want to get a contradiction. So we want to start from s equals f of x, and we are hoping that that leads to a uh, contradiction. There are two possibilities here. Either x is in f of x, you want this to lead to a contradiction or x is not in f of x you want that to also lead to a contradiction so how do we do that if x is not in f of x you would not want to lead to a contradiction in other words you want x to be in s because this was s so x is not in f of x you want it to be in s and for this one you want x to not be in s. So what does that mean? In other words, anything that is not in f of x, you want to be in s. Anything that is in f of x, you want it to be not in s. So in other words, your s would be every element of x does not belong to f of x. If you take that, then if x is in f of x, then x cannot be in s. And if s is f of x, that would lead to a contradiction. And if x is, in, is not in f of x, then that means x must be in s. But, but s was f of x, and that's also a contradiction. Okay. So how do we now articulate that and write it down as a proof? So let's write down the proof. Okay, so what we're going to show, in fact, is a bit stronger than what they asked us to show. So we're going to show, it is enough to show that size of power set is more than size of the set itself. And how do we show that? To show this, we will prove that there is 
no um, onto function f from x to the power set of x. For finite sets, we know that x has n elements and power set has 2 to the power of n elements. And n is always less than 2 to the power of n. Here we are dealing with infinite sets. So it is enough to show x has less elements than the power set. Assume, on the contrary, f from x to the power set of x is on to. We are going to uh, get a contradiction. So define this set. Define S to be the set of all X's in X such that X is not an element of F of X. Now, since F is on to, this set S must be F of some element in X. Okay, now, there are two possibilities. The first one is A is in F of A. Then, if A is in F of A, it means A must be in S, because F of A and S are the same. And that implies A is not in F of A. This is by definition of S. But that's a contradiction. This contradicts the initial assumption. If A is not in F of A, then A, so if we look at the definition of S, A is not in F of A. So that means A is in S. This is by definition of S. And this implies A is in A is in F of A because S is F of A. And this is a contradiction too. This contradicts A is not in F of A. So therefore Um, S cannot be in the image of F. And that completes the proof. So there is no function from X to P of X that is on to. Um, which means the size of F of e, P of X is larger than the size of X. Okay, so this brings me to the end of this proof. If you enjoy these videos feel free to subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video